In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create unique and mesmerizing strange attractors using ChatGPT and Grasshopper. We will see from understanding the mathematical concepts behind them to writing a Python script and using Grasshopper to transform the points into stunning shapes. At this point, you're likely familiar with ChatGPT, but for those who may be new to it, it's an AI model that can generate human-like text and even write code to solve specific problems. Let me ask my first question. What is Grasshopper 3D? As you can see, ChatGPT has provided a clear and concise answer that explains what Grasshopper is. All right, now let me ask another question related to our tutorial. Explain the concept of a strange attractor and provide a well-known example. Now it gives us more clear answer via our equations. It defined the concept of a strange attractor and its characteristics, such as the set of points in face space that are visited repeatedly, and also provided information about Edward Lorenz, the mathematician who first described the Lorenz attractor. Now I will ask ChatGBT to write a Python script for the following task. Write me a Python script that generates a list of points represented by coordinates x, y, z using the Lorenz attractor equations. Here, ChatGBT is writing a Python script for us, but it is using the external module NumPy, which is not available by default in Grasshopper. So I will ask it to rewrite the script without the use of NumPy. Now we can copy this code and go to Grasshopper. I will drop the GH Python component, which allows us to run Python scripts inside Grasshopper. By double clicking on it, I will access the script editor where we can paste the code. I want to extract the point coordinate list out of the GH Python component. So our output must be named as exactly this list. I will copy this list name point and give it to one of the outputs. Our component works perfectly. However, we need to change the point coordinates into 3D points that Grasshopper can understand as points. We can do this by simply changing the brackets to curly brackets. But let's let the EI find a better way for us. So I'm going to ask it to. Generate a list of 3D points using GH Python based on these coordinates. Now, ChatGPT is editing the previous code by importing the Rhino geometry library. It may also use Rhino script syntax. Once it complete writing the script, I will replace the previous one with this. We can see the beautiful set of points generated in the Rhino viewport. To create a curve connecting these points, I will drop a NURBS curve component and connect the points to it. I want to have external control over the number of iterations. To do this, I will replace the Y input with the number of steps input and add a number slider to it. Since the number of iterations must be an integer, I will set the hint to integer. I will remove the number of steps from inside the script so that it will not be overwritten. Now we can control the number of iterations externally. You can also externalize other constant values that are inside the script. I want to switch to a different strange attractor equation. This website has a lot of them. I have included the link in the description. The one I chose for this video can be found, Tutorial section, and the Attractor 3 section, and the Diquin Lie Attractor. I will now minimize this window to see both, and I will ask ChatGPT 
to replace the previous equations with this new one. I will type carefully to ensure that there are no errors. I will copy and paste the previous Grasshopper components and put the new script into it. I will run the new script. However, this time, an error occurred saying math range error. This is likely caused by the numbers getting crazy big due to the presence of power functions within the script. We can give this error to chat GPT to fix the code but we can also handle it by multiplying all equations inside the main function with a constant number j and set it to a smaller value to prevent the numbers from reaching the limit. Now, I will increase the number of iterations to generate more points and give it us a longer curve. I want to add a scale parameter as the current scale appears to be too large. To do this, I will multiply all three coordinates with a scale variable. Then, I will add an external scale input to the component and provide small numbers. This will multiply all coordinates and decrease the overall size of the final output. I will now externalize the number of steps and proceed to create a profile and transform the curve into 3D. To add interest to the profile, I will place points and draw pentagons on them. Additionally, I will create edges that extend both inward and outward from the polygon and array them in a circular pattern using the rotate command with copy enabled. Finally, I will find the union of the region using the curve boolean command. Next, using the perpendicular frame component, I will create planes on the curve that we created before. I will then place the profile curves on these planes using the orient curve component. To do this, I will reference the profile curves using the curve container and plug them into the orient curve component. I will also reference the points so that the curve can be scaled with them as the center. These points can also be used as the source plane input. The target will be the previous frame. Now the profile curve is oriented on each plane, but the size of them is big, so I will adjust some parameters and create a 3D shape using the mesh loft component. I will now increase the number of frames to generate smoother results and create a more detailed 3D shape on the mesh loft component output. However, this component may have issues with creating correct mesh faced normals, so I will use the Unify Mesh component to resolve this. Using the same process, I created all of these strange attractors. You can try different equations and change some parameters to get more interesting results. All the final project files will be available for Patreon supporters. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.